Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Yoshi's Woolly World. We got Bubblegum Yoshi here that we unlocked last time. 6-5, we're so close. Yoshi, the terror of all booze. Yeah, you better watch out. I'm coming for you. Uh, what am I doing here? There it is. Yoshi! Alright, so once again, I know a little bit about this stage because I attempted to play it and I just really botched up the recording, so I deleted everything before the game saved and now I'm starting over. This level is probably the hardest one so far to me. You have to be good at ricocheting your eggs or your yarn things off of- I'm doing everything in my power to avoid saying balls. That's weird that an innocent word that can refer to a playground toy for children can also be like filthy and dirty and you gotta be careful how you use it. <laughs> In a sense. But yeah, this is well Yeah, that's the gimmick of this level. You can only hit the boos in typical boo fashion when they're not hiding from you. And then they turn into balloons, cause Nintendo logic, we don't question it. I love this music. Yeah, this is the hard part, because now you have these boo-like platforms that are only active when you're facing away. Oh yes. Alright, yeah, you wouldn't believe my first attempt how hard that- or how long it took for me to do that. I don't know what was my deal. It's not even hard to ricochet things off the wall. That's one of those weird things too, you can't be like, like it is math, but you can't use that as an excuse and be like, oh, it's math. Like if you can't ricochet a yarn ball or an egg off of a wall, it doesn't mean you're bad at math. It just means visually, you're stupid, I guess. <laughs> Got these sons, these evil sons back from Yoshi's Island as well. Butterling pop. Yeah, this thing I was trying to hit too a million times, but there's really no way to hit it as far as I know. You got this outline of a wall that will appear with a switch later on. And then this, if you have the hidden badge thing, it shows you this door, but actually you want to go in the one that's not hidden first. Otherwise you miss a yarn uh, spool, whatever they are, wonder wool. I learned that the hard way too in that botched recording. Anyway, I'm feeling a little bit better now from that last one. I'm not recording this immediately after work. It's been a few days, and I just finished a Final Fantasy's Crystal Crystal Wow Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles remastered discussion video. I just typed it up like six pages long. I think it was like three thousand words. And then I edited the script. And I put the, together the video, it took like a full normal work day for me to get it all done. But I'm kind of happy with it. Am I happy with my voice? No, that's always an issue, but... I'm feeling a lot better than the previous Yoshi video is my point. Yeah, here we go. This thing makes hitting that guy a lot easier. I don't know, I'm thinking- I didn't do any job searching, I said I was gonna do that, and I never did yet. I got carried away with this YouTube stuff, which I told myself I gotta stop doing. You gotta balance real life and this. This is not real life. Alright, come on, poo! Yes! There's a yarn up here, too. You missed the stamp. Well, that's okay. This thing is infinite. What did I just say? Infinite. I'm pretty sure I just mispronounced that. I don't know. I've been noticing that a lot recently. Several words I slur together. Dude, really? Are you serious? I don't know. My speech is just getting clumsy. Like, I'm drunk all the time or something, and I'm not. <laughs> so, I don't know. Maybe it's a sign. Maybe it's a tumor. It's not a tumor. At all. Dude! Dude! Alright. Please go away. Thank you. Jeez. Don't have a ball, can't hit it. This is so stupid, dude. 
But I, I gotta keep going. We're not deleting another recording. Because this is the kind of stuff that slowly gets me angry and then the recording is just garbage. Yeah, okay, so we're doing good with the suns. I was messing that up too my first time. Now let's go back and get this yarn and not screw up. Boom, 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 boom. I was just watching a Bill Burr rant on Louis C.K. returning to stand-up comedy. And I guess it was this guy Bill Simmons who does a podcast. He had him on and was asking him about it. Like what he thinks of it. And I love Bill Burr, man. I remember when I first saw him when I was younger, I didn't think he was funny at all. But I think it was because I wasn't bitter yet, and I didn't get it. And now, like, everything Bill Burr says to me is, like, the most rational thing. And that guy... cracks me up. He's like... All of his opinions, I'm, like, right there with him. Half the time. More than half the time. I don't know, it was just funny because he was bashing everybody on Twitter and Instagram who acts like they live this perfect life. And everybody should marvel at the things that they have and what they stand for. I don't know. It's pretty funny. I don't know, I might put it in. It was like four minutes of just solid gold. Like everything you want to say to people. I don't know. This was a headache too, though. It really isn't hard, but you would think. I don't know, man. Really? Okay, but I need... They're giving me the big balls now because they realize I'm sucking. <laughs> I wonder if that actually is a line of code. Like, if the player is in this room for more than a minute, Start giving them big yarn balls. There we go. See, my thought process here is that second door is a fake and just dumps out at that other one with the X. Yeah, this is a- I got this far. And I botched the recording because I just was fumbling around too much prior to this room and then in this room as well. Get on that balloon! Oh my gosh, alright. It's okay, we got all the stamps. Yeah, now that Bill Burr thing, though, he was just talking about how, like, any more these days, ev like, hashtag movements are so stupid. There's... It's all about, like, it, people act like it's this big service to society, like, hashtag movements, or I don't even know, like, something, breast cancer awareness. It's like... We've been aware for two decades now that breast cancer is a thing. There's people in the medical field working on it. All kinds of cancer. They're trying to figure something out. It's not like you have to tell us that you are opposed to breast cancer because probably most people in the world are. I don't, I don't know if there is anybody that's like, yeah, all breasts should have cancer. Screw those things. You know? <laughs> But they have these people act so self-righteous on Twitter and Instagram and things. And just... I don't know. It's like, it's a hashtag. You literally typed letters on a keyboard. And are basically being like, look at me, look at, look at the things I stand for. My morals are better than yours. You gotta work hard in life. That's, that's how I have all these good things that you don't have. That's the problem with you. Dude, really? <laughs> it's just so stupid to me. That's the internet culture, but it exists, like, even in Amazon, too, when I'm there. But I'm not gonna about to go rant, but I just feel like where I particularly work, there's so much of that. People are just trying to show how cool they are. It's like, how old are you, man? You have to stop caring about being cool when you're, like, 15 at the latest. You know? Because the second you stop caring about that stuff, the more you can focus on what really matters in life and just do what's important, and then good things will come your way. So they say. Of course, that's not always true either. Yeah, give me that olive green yosh. I missed something, didn't I? I missed a flower. Are you telling me that that door in that crazy ricochet room wasn't a fake? 
I wonder if that leads to the flower instead of just instantly dumping you at the X door. Hey, 960 stamps. I still have yet to find a menu that I could peruse those. I, you might not be able to thanks to Meaver's being destroyed. What the heck is that? Spooky, why is he wearing mascara and eyelashes? That is definitely a spooky Yoshi, but not in terms of like booze and ghosts and goblins, but in terms of what have you done with cute Yoshi? There it is, okay, now. <laughs> Getting tired of this nonsense. Failure is not an option. We've already discussed this several times. Yep, sure enough. How much you want to bet? Hey, don't be doing that. Nobody got time for that. There we go, jeez. Da da! Everything's free. That seems to happen like every other instance of going into a stage. All right, let's take our creepy Yoshi. Feel fuzzy. Get clingy. <gasps> Are we? Is this a return of the Super Nintendo <laughs> noise? That was such a terrible impression. Oh yes, it's the best bass music in this game. Let's be quiet and listen to this Marcus Miller. Jacko Yo Stories. This is such a weird concept, dude. There's definitely something up here. And a low punch. It just vibrates so good. That's what she said. That's weird. There's definitely something up there, too. Look at that nook. Yoshi, the king of investigating nooks and crannies. He also likes Thomas English muffins. Ah, your jokes are so stupid. Man, that bass tone is so good, and this is a video game. Okay, what is this thing? He's from something, too. Those fish I was uncertain about in the ice level were from Yoshi's Island. Wouldn't be surprised if these guys are, too. But at the moment, I can't place where they're from. Walk up, walk up. I love that. that blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I don't know. Just, that's what's so cool about bass. It just tickles in. It's like fondling your... Never mind. I just love the low punchiness that just vibrates. I remember I took a class called the Science of Sound. And I don't think it was the first time I learned it, but it's the first time I like seriously started critically thinking about it. And that low tones, like a bass tone, travels further than high-pitched noises. So I had to be quiet because of the bass again. Oh, thank God that did that. Nice, man. We're on a roll. Now, right, what is this supposed to be? Like, oh, maybe we're like inside of a sewing machine. That's probably the whole thing. I was saying something I forget. Oh, yeah. Low sounds travel further than high-pitched sounds. So... That's why you typically hear, like, bass thumping if, like, your neighbors downstairs are having a party blasting music. You don't even hear anything else in the song, you just hear all the bass and the... But then in other instances, I feel like it's not true, because I hear the higher-pitched annoying stuff more so than the, the low jump. I don't know. It is proof. It's science has proven it. You can't disprove it at this point. <laughs> Thank you. 
Dude, this thing. Here we go. There's something in there, maybe? I don't know. Can you go in pipes that... Yeah, you can. I don't know, I was confused for a second, because I thought there was some kind of rule that if it's a pipe that spits out enemies, you don't go in it ever. Although that pipe wasn't spitting out enemies, was it? It was only taking enemies in. <laughs> I don't know, man. What? I missed a flower? How? Sure enough, dude. Didn't I say there was something up there? Why didn't it work the first time? Or did I forget to check it? Okay, now we're back to where we were. I can't think of anything to talk about, man. I'm just playing Yoshi. It's just... I don't know. I'm like simultaneously zoning out and trying to think of what I need to do. I think this is my favorite song in the whole game. It's just so smooth and the low punching bass notes. I could listen to it all day. Thank you. 
Yoshi do we get from that weird level? He's got stuff splattered all over him. Painty Yoshi, okay. Now, is this? That's Kamek's wand. Does that mean, that's not the castle though, right? No, because there's eight stages per world. All right, Painty Yoshi, finally done with that weird mascara, Yoshi. Kamek's last ditch flyby, yeah, well, That'll be next time. What's th oh, that's the special stage. Huh. Next time might be the final boss. <laughs> 